How to draw the animated nexus, now in color. If you think you're seeing double, relax. This volume of How to Draw Nexus was first published in 2006 as a way to promote my longtime goal of seeing Nexus as an animated series. With this new expanded edition, along with its modified title of How to Draw the Animated Nexus, you'll see many of the same model sheets from the previous volume, now in color, with added comments as to their creation, the same spiral bound format to make drawing from it much easier, and the many new additions fresh off the animation table. With so much added to realize my one day goal of a Nexus animated series, we thought a new expanded edition would be the way to go. To date, there is no TV series, and if there ever is, my two minutes of completed animation along with model sheets, layouts, storyboards, and whatever else contained in this book would certainly be the blueprint for it. Ever forward, Steve Rood. Alright, hey everyone. Um, as a lot of you know, we've got a Kickstarter going on with a uh, how to draw the animated nexus. There's the flyer for it right here. This is what the book looks like. It is really cool. And it's got so much stuff in here that um, I'm embarrassed to tell you how much we're selling it for. Um, <clears throat> so what I th what I thought I'd do as we're uh, as we're talking about the uh, the contents of this Nexus animated book right here, uh, I'll just give you a brief uh, fill in here. There is no Nexus animated cartoon yet, <clears throat> but I keep working on it. I've got literally stacks of paper about that high <clears throat> that are all ready to go if I if and when I ever get ever get the green light. And I thought I would um, uh, talk to you about uh, how to animate and in, in how, how to draw and how it pertains to animation. So I've got a bunch of materials here that I've got off to my side that I'm going to be bringing out. And uh, first I want to show you some layouts. This is, um, this is a layout that I expect to be in the show. I don't know where it will fit in. Uh, episode wise but I'm sure it'll fit in somewhere <clears throat> so I drew all these right here <clears throat> and uh, because this is limited animation which is what the show is is meant to emulate which is the old Hanna-Barbera cartoons um, <clears throat> you can see that in a lot of occasions just the head moves here so there's Sonny Honey's head turned to the, the right there and we also have a shot of Nexus, whose head goes up a little bit, looking at Sunny Honey. And that's all, that's all that uh, moves on this thing. In the meantime, the old-fashioned way was to have the camera guy on his bottom and top pegs have these on individual cells and have them floating at different uh, speeds. So they're not, they're not all... The cadence is different. They don't all move up the same way. This, she moves up this way, he moves down there, Dave moves up this like, like that. <clears throat> so <clears throat> that's kind of the aim of the Nexus show. I'm going to put these aside right here because there's so much I want to show you here. Um, Um, take a look at these right here. I'm going to set these up right here. Some of you, probably very few of, few of you know <coughs> that this is, um, this is work by uh, a comic strip artist called Roy Crane. And if you look at this stuff, it looks really simple and really cartoony. But I can tell you that the, the ability that this guy has to draw natural looking figures is something that I'm, I've never gotten down even half as good as this guy right here. And no, I'm not just saying that. Uh, <coughs> this is literally the hardest thing there is to do right here. <coughs> Look at how natural her posture looks. Look at how natural his posture looks. Look at that. <coughs> and it's literally the simplest kind of rendering that I've ever seen before. 
So <clears throat> that's what I'm going to be talking to you about today, of how <clears throat> you build these kind of figures in animation or comics. It's all the same. Here's another sheet that I, <clears throat> I wanted to pull out right here. <clears throat> this is from the Preston Blair book. I think most of you know this book right here. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> this is kind of the essence of what it breaks down to. This is You don't start like this. You start like this and you get the gesture down, just like you would do um, get, getting the mannequin drawn out on this girl or this guy right here. It's the same thing with this. This is the mannequin right here. <clears throat> and that gets turned into this with a lot of skill. A lot of skill. <clears throat> this gets turned into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these figures here <clears throat> uh, from my show. <clears throat> I think we're going to pick Dave. And we're going <clears> to <throat> get out some animation paper. And we're going to... <clears throat> I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. <clears throat> Okay, so how, how are we going to start doing Dave if, if he was going to be <coughs> animated? Well, <coughs> ideally, <coughs> you have to get this image in your head first. The image that I have of Dave is him kind of leaning over and ready to jump on something. So <coughs> that's the first thing that I see in my head right there. Now the second thing, um, you can go anywhere from here. You can even start with the feet, because after all, the feet is where everything's anchored down to. By the way, if you guys got any questions, you write in, okay? You know, happy to talk to you. I'll talk to you about them. <clears throat> See, now we're getting into this kind of stuff right here, and. If any of these things aren't placed right on this figure, I've got to erase it until I get it down. It's got to fit the image that I see in my head. So here's, here's Dave. Dave's got a very special set of proportions. Um, <clears throat> but this is what all the animators need to work from <clears throat> to get their proportions right. And I have little notes down here to show you what not to do. So Dave is like this right here. He's like this. I think we have on the next page, <coughs> yeah, that very thing right there. <coughs> so um, we have Dave kind of bent over. These um, these hips are too are too fat right here for Dave. <coughs> I like to mark off my joints like that, <coughs> so I know that things are staying in proportion. Little things like his cloth, his hair, all that comes later. <coughs> but from here. We've got to, uh, we've got to dress the guy. And believe me, i got to keep my eye on this at all times right here. Hmm. Do I like that or not? And it, it just, it gets more and more fleshed out. Let's go in here with a darker pencil so I can really uh, show you how this is going to turn out. You know, obviously, this is a, a block in right here, and that's, that's what you want to end up as. A good block in will, will set you free. If it's not a good block in, erase it and start over again. Dave has a preference for turtlenecks. Always draw through. So you're thinking of this as a three-dimensional kind of thing. Okay, uh, Dave has sweatpants on. So like I said, I'm having to look at the whole thing at once. When you start looking at minutia, little things, you will forget the big things, and that's when uh, that's when you'll get in trouble, because that's when I get in trouble. Dave's got these uh, Tai Chi shoes on. Measure over, make sure.
make sure that everything is equal. Now, as far as Dave's hands go, I'm not sure what to do with those. So let's get out a different color pencil. Hands are just going to be like one of these things right here. That's going to be it. Hands are like everything else. Um, they're hard. They're really hard. I remember some turkey in art school said, well, you're not doing mittens. Well, that's exactly what you're doing, dummy. <coughs> Draw them as a basic shape. Basic shape. There's a basic shape right there. The thumb is, is on the side. <coughs> Why are hands so hard to draw? <coughs> because they have a lot of moving parts, <coughs> and dimensionally, if you try to understand <laughs> dimensionally, they're really screwed up. <coughs> yes, they have very simple basic forms, cylinders, wedges, all that kind of stuff. <coughs> but to make it uh, functional is... Um, takes forever. <coughs> so that's, um, that's how I would go about um, doing an animation drawing. <coughs> okay, so line one. Line two, three, four, five. <coughs> so this is going to be the, the finished rough right here. <coughs> now, from here, it's, it's going to, it goes into another stage. It goes into um, the cleanup stage. You don't want to have a messy drawing like this on TV because it, it'll be hard to read. But <coughs> essentially, um, this is how everything works with everything that I do. <coughs> this is going to be the way I draw every single frame of my cartoon. And this is how I draw every figure and every object that's in, um, that's in the Nexus comic, uh, comic strips and comic books. So let's hear some, I guess we have some questions coming up here, huh? So you uh, fire away. Okay, um, have you considered rotoscoping your figures, a.k.a. <coughs> well, <coughs> uh, no. You use those things <coughs> if you need them, <coughs> just like you use photo reference if you need it. If you, <coughs> if you don't need it, and you can invent figures like this, the way I've shown you, um <coughs> from an image that you see in your head, <coughs> then uh, you don't. But <coughs> when it comes to movement, see, animation is the art of movement. It's not, it's, the art of drawing is secondary. <coughs> uh, you can literally have things like this right here <coughs> drawn up <coughs> and if you were to if you were to film these right here uh, four frames <coughs> it would move exactly right <coughs> and it would look exactly the right <coughs> and all it is is, is a stick figure <coughs> these are the little things I work out right here <coughs> when I'm trying to figure out how movement goes see little things like this <coughs> everyone knows they're called thumbnail sketches and they're called that because they're small. That's the only reason they're called that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you recommend one of those wooden artist models for those struggling with joints and posture? Um, I've always found that to be a very bizarre device. I think the only thing it might be good for is is uh, setting your hat on. Um, it, it's such a bizarre, uh, un, unhuman looking thing. Uh, no, I would, I've never looked at those things and thought, I need to get one of those. <coughs> uh, what I need to do is uh, do what all the other artists do. So you have to life draw. <coughs> um, and then you have to test your life drawing uh, skills with imagination sketches. <coughs> because if you can do that, you're going to get hired. And if you don't, you're not going to get hired. You have to know how to uh, construct things like like uh, like this right here, like I've shown you, <coughs> and that's that's the part of the fun of being an artist <coughs> is learning these skills, <coughs> so that you're not you're not uh, burdened by lack of knowledge. The last place you want to be 
is, <clears throat> is not knowing how to do this kind of stuff. The, at the effort it takes, as my old teacher, Mr. Andrew Loomis, said, the effort it takes to learn it is a lot easier than the effort of never learning it. <clears throat> so, um, no, I wouldn't recommend that at all. <clears throat> so, again, this is the book that we're, <clears throat> that we're looking to promote here. <clears throat> we, need, um, we need a lot of backers to make this thing work, otherwise it doesn't come out. Um, <clears throat> right now we're at about 6,000. We need uh, quite a bit more. We need to boost it up to $20,000. Uh, that's the cost of this printing right here and making a small sliver like profit off this thing. <clears throat> so I hope uh, this is something that might be handy for your bookshelf here, okay? <clears throat> it's got layouts that I'm showing you right here. <clears throat> it's got a lot of drawing tips. <clears throat> and of course, it's got all the model sheets that show you how to draw all these characters. There's Dave. <coughs> these are characters from the first and second episode right here. Cool, huh? So <coughs> that's the book. I hope, um, I, hope I hope you'll see fit to, uh, to pledge some bread here, and uh, all, all things will be fine and dandy. Um, I, want you, I want you to know that this is going to be a continuing thing for the next uh, couple days. <coughs> we're going to start at noon every day, and we're going to take this, <coughs> this theory right here a little farther in development uh, each day, okay? So uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow at noon, the same time that this broadcast went on, this live stream, and I'll be back with more tips on how to draw the animated nexus. Thanks and take care. <laughs>